When I was a kid back in the 60s, I loved records. Records to me in the 60s is like the internet to kids today. It was a way I could have the world at my fingertips in my room. And there's nothing I like better than to receive records as a present. So now I'm looking through my record collection and I'm digitizing some of the records that I loved so much. I loved them too much, as you'll be able to tell when you hear them. But I'm digitizing them and I'm going to start uploading them for all to enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. Once upon a story time, or perhaps I should say once upon a beetle, there lived a lovely princess who never smiled. In spite of everyone's best efforts, Princess Regina remained polite but withdrawn, and the corners of her mouth drooped at all times. The king was frantic. Can't anybody do anything? Is a little laughter such a precious commodity? I command someone to do something, and right now. But in spite of the king's orders, no one succeeded in making the princess laugh. Twice a week, talent from all over the kingdom auditioned for Regina's pleasure. The palace rocked with laughter. <laughs> As a constant parade of clowns, <laughs> dancing bears, <laughs> and famous magicians <laughs> did their best to make the princess laugh. But it was all in vain. The princess sat quietly on her golden throne, gazing out of the window and scarcely able to stifle her yawns. The one thing that seemed to bring her pleasure was to fly the royal kite. There she goes, out into the garden alone again. Without a trace of a smile. And I've got the most expensive talent in the land assembled here to make her laugh. All right, all right, that does it for the day. Courts adjourn, you nasty people. Come on, my queen. We might as well go out into the garden and watch Regina go fly her little kite. I wonder where she inherits this gloomy disposition of hers. I wonder, dear. Yes, I understand. Uh, watch your what? step on those flagstones, my dear. I've Little been meaning to tell me, the dear. gardener... To, don't interrupt. I've been meaning to tell the gardener to check them. No one does anything right these days, and oh, they talk all Regina the time. Oh, there's Regina over the by women, the pear trees, dear. Oh. I must say, this is just the right kind of wind for flying kites. Uh. Just look at it, say. Oh, oh, <laughs> there you are, my princess. How well you fly your little kite. <laughs> oh, it's almost out of sight. <sighs> Thank you, Father dear. Uh, not at all, my dear, not at all. Oh, here comes a huge cloud. Oh, it, it's not a very big cloud. Look, a there little... goes my kite behind it. Oh, dear. I'll pull it down just a bit. So that we can see it. Oh, that's a very good idea. That's a good girl. <laughs> Having fun. That's strange. I can't seem to get it down. <clears throat> Father, would you help me? Well, of course, my dear. You've got to exert some pressure here. Uh, it does seem to be stuck. The uh, Queen, my pet, uh, come help us pull down the kite. It's so far out of sight. What can be happening? It. Oh, there it comes, my dear. Yes. It's out from behind the cloud, but. Oh, how heavy it feels, doesn't 
isn't it, Father? Oh, it does, but at least it's coming down. <laughs> the tail looks different somehow. Then. Look, look. Uh, Regina, what's on the end of your kite? Uh, I don't know. Poor Father. Oh. Poor. Oh. And as the king and queen and the princess pulled away at the strangely heavy tail of the kite, they saw, as it came closer to the earth, that clinging to it were four tiny boys, hanging one upon the other. They all had big bushy heads of dark hair, and they all looked just alike. As the kite brought them closer to earth, they waved down at the startled group. Stand back, get away. Upon my soul, whatever does this mean? Whoever are those strange, hairy little things? I don't know. But aren't they darling? Oh. Oh, Paul, Father, Paul. Oh. Hi, John. Uh, we thought we'd drop oh. in. The main speed will fly by. That is, we thought we'd sail through. To say we love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, what is that language they are speaking? What weird little creatures. All that hair. Yes. What do they call themselves? Beetles, did they say? We love you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you love us, love our hair. Oh, let us hold your hand. Oh, let us make you understand that we love Darling. Oh, why, Regina, you're, you're smiling. Mm. Uh, look, Queen, what mm. nice teeth she has. Oh, Father, I love the beetles. <laughs> Every time I see them, I want to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a beetle. With people mania, but remember this. Well, my dear, I don't mind telling you it's a great relief to find what you needed to make you happy. Uh, come along, my dear, gather up your beetles and let's go in. Yes, Father. Beetles, you have accomplished what everyone else in my kingdom failed to do. You have made my daughter love. Yes. My castle is yours. Crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> During the weeks that followed, the castle rang with the sounds of laughter as the four little beetles scurried up and down the palace corridors, in and out of everything. <laughs> Cook, we've come to help you. Here, we'll stir that soup. Jingo, hand me your legs. Right, old Georgie. And round and round we go. Dear, there. Get your feet out of my soup this minute. Stop that. <laughs> Around I go for a ginny, I ate. From here to West Virginia, I yeah, with a yeah, yeah, yeah. As I near Pennsylvania, I yeah, I see fans of Beatlemania, I yeah. Once the Beatles made themselves at home in the castle, laughter and song were the order of the day, all day, every day. Their shaggy black heads appeared in every nook and cranny of the palace. Polly, Johnny, look at Jingo. Come down from that pear tree, Jingo. Whatever you're doing, man. I'm only talking to the fireflies, Johnny. I'm telling them about the party we're throwing for the princess. <laughs> and they say they're willing to come and shed some light. A beetle party by firefly light. Now I've heard of everything. Well, the king thinks it's all just fab. He said the princess laughed 12 times yesterday. 
As far as he's concerned, we're too much. Did you hear that, Jingo? The king thinks we're too much. Uh, crazy, man. <laughs> but it's Regina who flips me. Yeah. I think that princess is just the coolest. He loves her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I say the palace is fine and all that, but the world's a big place. And we've only seen a portion of it. I'm for moving on. Well, I agree with you, Georgie. I've seen the other side of the sky. Now I'd like to see the other side of the ocean. Yeah, but, but what about the princess? She's grown to depend on us. Dingo. Now she's learned how to laugh. I'm sure Regina will be all right. I agree with Johnny and Georgie. It's time for us to move on. Yeah, but we can't just walk out. We'll have to stay for the party. And then we'll leave a note of some sort. Yeah, huh? so we will. A note from the Beatles. And something else to show that we care. How about a lock of hair from each of us? <gasps> oh, not our hair. Uh, no, I suppose we can't cut our hair. That's out. Yes, yeah, j just a little lock of our hair, for, uh, just from each of us. Oh. Then she'll know we love her, and that one day we'll be back. That night at the party, the Beatles were at their wildest. They sang and they danced and they shook their tangled heads of hair. The palace is swinging tonight. This will really give them something to remember us by. <laughs> Let's sing them one last song and then it's time to go. Ready, Jingle? You get the scissors, I'll write the note. Now, let's see. Uh, dear Regina, we are going away. I, uh, oh, <laughs> it's so sad, I, I don't know if I can do it. Just say so long, farewell. In the meantime, it was swell. We mean that it was bad. But now we've called a cab. We love you and we've had a ball We'll be back next spring or fall Remember that we care Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah That's a good way to put it In that way we're not pinned down Dash off that note, Jingo, and let's be gone So the four Beatles, with mingled tears and laughter, wrote the note of goodbye Then each cut off a lock of his hair and solemnly laid it inside the letter. Well, goodbye, Palace. Goodbye, Regina. Come on, Beatles. Let's go. It's so sad I can't stand it. And so the Beatles ventured forth into the great big world. They were so willing to learn, and so carefree and fun-loving, that they made friends wherever they went, and left happiness and laughter in their wake. Stand back, give way, the Beatles are here. They're calling for you. Don't bother him, he's deep in a dream again. I can't stop thinking of Regina. Look, Dingo. <laughs> Here we are on the other side of the world, with fame at her feet and money flying in through the windows. It's fab, man. Now will you forget about that unhappy chick? You can't fool me. You miss her too. We all do. Well, maybe we do, Jingo, but life goes on. Straight ahead and do your best, I always say. <laughs>
about how the princess fared without them. For later that very day, there came a knock at the door. What's ho, little girls? Whoever you are. Come in, come in. Oh, 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 what a mob out there. There must be 5,000 people waiting for you, Beatles. Well, that's the price of fame, man. What can we do for you? Oh. Oh, what should I do? Oh, I, I remember. Yes, I bring you a message from the king. The king? You mean our very own king? He must be about Regina. <laughs> oh, right, boy. In truth, that is just what it is. Oh. Now, the king has sent me to find you to tell you that the princess sickens daily, oh. and soon it is feared she will die. Princess Regina? Sick? Oh, oh no! What's the matter with her? What's the matter with her? The sickness came upon her when it was found that you had left the castle. Oh. And each day that you have gone, she has grown worse. Why, that's terrible! Oh, indeed, it's a veritable drag. Oh, what? Oh, what? Yes, 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 that's right. Yeah, tell our granddad. Yeah, well, come on, let's go. Stopping only long enough to gather up their instruments, the Beatles rushed to the palace. Outside the castle gates, Jingo stopped. Yeah, uh, just a minute, everyone. Hold it. Come on, man, let's go. What are you waiting for? Uh, we've gone off in such a hurry, we never stopped to think how we look. Well, what's the matter? Look at Johnny. And, uh, and you, Paulie, look oh, at me? Georgie. What's the matter with me? Put our heads together and we look like a convention of dust mops. Oh, Thank you. God. And look at Paulie's suit. Look. It looks as though he's slept in it every night since we left the palace. Yeah, yeah, that? Yeah. Uh, surely the princess has heard we're on our way to her. Well, let's stop long enough to get our shoes shined. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, shoes shine. shine. uh, And let's get new suits. Ah, new new suits. suits. And yeah. haircuts. <gasps> haircuts? Oh, oh no. no. You must be oh, John. Not here, man. Now, 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 come on, you guys. Let's do it up proper. Well, OK, Jingo, if you insist. It all sounds fine, except that part about the haircut. But since I'm your pal, I'll go along with you. Oh, yeah, all right. Me too. So the four little beetles outfitted themselves in new clothes from head to toe and paid a visit to the nearest barber shop. When they came out, they were neat and trim and looked strangely unlike themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Jingo. He looks like a peeled egg. <laughs> you blokes look just as odd to me. Here, but, but let's laugh on the way to the castle. I want to see the princess. And so the four little beetles rushed straight to the palace. Oh, I hope Regina is better. Uh, uh, this way, fellas. Uh, room's at the end of this hall. Call it, man. We used to live here too, Jingo. We all know the way. Shh. Here we are. Oh, Beatles, thank goodness you're here. How is she, King? If she calls for you constantly. Listen. Beatles! 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 Jingo! Be oh, Regina. Beatles. Here I am. Yeah, uh, here yeah, we all yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Re Regina, o open your eyes and look. <laughs> it's us, the Beatles, we're back. Stand back, give way, the Beatles are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now look, I'm not that sick. You people are having me on. Eh? Don't you think I know my own Beatles when I see them? Oh, oh Get these bald strangers out of my bedroom. What do we do? She doesn't believe it's really us. Oh. It's these haircuts. Hey, I've got an idea. Oh, yeah? Come on, Beatles, let's go. Right. Following Jingo, the Beatles left the princess and rushed back into town. They sought out the nearest big store, and when they came out, they looked like their old selves again. Jingo, your idea to buy Beetle wigs was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Mine looks just like my real hair. Yeah. <laughs> Protect these beetle weeks until the princess sees us in them. The beetles rushed back to the castle and into the royal chamber. <laughs> Regina, Princess Regina, open your eyes. It's me, Jingo, and Polly, and Johnny, and Georgie. Oh, beetles! It's really you. Oh, how happy I am to see you. We love, love you. you. Yeah, yeah. 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 The princess began to recover at once and was soon her happy, laughing self. Having found that one end of the world was pretty much the same as the other, the Beatles decided to remain at the palace and live happily ever after. So they did. <laughs>